Today, we learn three important things on immigration. Firstly, deportations. Lee Anderson asked top Home Office officials if they knew how many Channel migrants had actually been refused asylum and then deported, and they didn't have a scooby. How many people travelling on small boats that's been refused asylum have been sent to a third country or back to their own country over the past three years? I don't think we have. I don't. I don't I think we'll, I, we'll, we'll write to the committee with those numbers, right Mr. Anderson. That's quite. That's staggering. That's actually. It's staggering. Just, so, it's a very, so. Okay, then let's do it for the last year. I, d I don't have a number for non Albanian, well, non FNOs. You. Perhaps they might be able to help you. Let's do it last week then. Do we have any figures about anything? It's like a comedy show, isn't it? The fact that they turn up to a scrutiny committee totally unprepared to answer a basic question on the most important issue of the day shows, in my view, they just don't care. It's shocking. Next. Rwanda. Supreme Court says no, the thing is a dud. We've sent them 140 million quid. But today, Sir Matthew Rycroft, the Home Office's permanent secretary, revealed that taxpayers, you, me, everyone we know, will have to pay more for accommodation in Rwanda for the migrants who are no longer going to be deported, as well as other funds to assist the authorities in Kigali to develop their capabilities and capacity. He can't tell us how much money will be on the hook for, because that's commercially sensitive. I would argue it's personally sensitive to all of us. Cost of living crisis and all that. I mean, this is bonkers, seriously, it's nuts. Finally, Immigration Minister Robert Jemrick, Bobby Generic to his mates, has publicly distanced himself from Rishi Sunak. He said that he's got his own immigration plan. That's nice of him, isn't it? That's good, that's a good start. So he's got his own immigration plan, which he's put to the PM and wanted to introduce before last Christmas. But it hasn't happened. Reading between the lines, he's been ignored when it comes to cutting net migration. Now, bearing in mind that behind the scenes, Bobby Generic is regarded as a close ally of Rishi, that's quite strong stuff. So, to summarise, top civil servants won't tell us or don't know if we've deported any illegal immigrants recently. Taxpayers are sending wheelbarrows of cash to an African nation to accommodate migrants who aren't there, but they won't tell us how much cash it actually is. And our Prime Minister, who has just sacked a Home Secretary who wanted to bring net migration down, is possibly ignoring his Immigration Minister, who also wants to bring net migration down. But apart from that, everything's fine.